So this is a quick note to people who are having trouble digesting beans and lentils, particularly if you've just launched into the January and you're suddenly finding that beans and lentils can leave you feeling bloated or windy um, or contributing to diarrhea and constipation. Um, and also for people that have IBS, they often really struggle with um, beans and lentils too. So why is this? Well, there is a scientific reason for it. And it is because legumes contain something called oligosaccharides or fructans. And these are carbohydrate molecules that we find quite difficult to digest. And if we don't manage to digest them in the small intestine, what can happen is that they can become food for the bacteria living in our guts, which then produce all the gas and wind and leading on to the bloating, the uh, diarrhea or constipation. Um, so there's a reason why they are a problem. And they're part of actually what we call the FODMAP um, group of foods. So FODMAPs is an acronym for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides and polyols. You never have to say that because we just say FODMAP. But um, they're a group of foods which can cause a problem again for people with IBS. Um, if you're on a plant-based diet or you're trying to increase more plant-based foods, beans and lentils are a fantastic source of protein and fibre. So it's really important that we do try and incorporate them if we can. So what can we do about it to lessen the effects? Well, um, the first thing we can do is A, we'll try and eat less of them and then um, try and have smaller amounts and see if we can build up any resilience. Sometimes it's, uh, it's down to the enzymes as well. So take them down to a level where they don't cause problems, but remember to top up your protein. If you're plant-based, you could try more seeds and, um, and nuts. Uh, you may be able to try um, tofu, edamame beans. Uh, edamame beans are um, a bean, but they don't tend to cause that same bloating um, because they're a fresh bean. Um, so you may find you can get away with more of them, but you do need to look at other protein sources. You may, maybe even if you're plant-based, looking at plant-based uh, protein powder as well. The second thing you can do is all in how we prepare them. The good news is that um, oligosaccharides are soluble. So if we soak our beans and lentils well um, and rinse them and then throw away the water and then cook them. So I'm thinking really here things like red lentils. So red lentils, if you soak them, throw away the water, cook them, again, throw away the water, you're getting rid of some of those oligosaccharides in the process and then you could try adding them to soups rather than just putting them in dried. Um, tins of beans, again, re rinsing them really, really well. Um, it can help too. I find the two that people manage to tolerate the best in clinic are generally red lentils and chickpeas. Sometimes tinned lentils work for people as well, better than uh, cooking them yourself. So maybe that's something to experiment with.